Good afternoon. How's it going? Uh, Cookie and I are here to talk to you about uh, flying. Uh, 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 are you ready? Uh -huh. <laughs> when we got Cookie, uh, she actually was clipped. Her wings were clipped. So she could not fly, but we were told that she was flying all, all over the place. All over the place. <laughs> So they clipped her wings in order to um, kind of get her tamed, I guess. Were you flying everywhere? Oh, everywhere. <laughs> so I thought that I would talk to you guys today about what we did to help Cookie learn how to fly again. We do fly her inside the house. Uh, she is not flighted uh, for outdoors. Um, that may be something that we work on in the future, but for now, we do get some exercise for her inside. And she's anxious to show you that, so let's, let's go. Just to recap, Cookie is a 10 year old blue and gold macaw. We adopted her from one of our favorite bird stores in the area called Everything Birds, which is located um, just outside Tampa and Old Smart. Cookie was on a perch there by the doors talking to everyone, dancing and laughing and being hilarious. So we thought we would come back and visit her again and we did. And she is just a ham. Are you putting on a show? She's all fluffy for you. Say hi, Cookie. <laughs> Week. Anyway, so we had a really hard time getting Cookie to fly anywhere. I think that she probably fell a few times and it just made her nervous and mistrusting. We started working on getting her to jump off of our arm because she won't actually take off from the perch to fly to us. That's something we'd like to work on in the future. Just to begin, we were encouraging her to jump off of us and she would try to crawl up our arm onto our shoulder because she was just so insecure about the idea of flying again. In order to get Cookie comfortable again, we just had to rebuild her trust. Uh, we did wait until several of her flight feathers started to come back in and she seemed to be really confident in her ability and actually flew across the kitchen a few times. So we knew that she was capable. Over time, we were able to build up Cookie's confidence in getting her to fly from further and further away. So I'll show you kind of step-by-step step what we decided to do and how we got her to begin flying for us. This is a restricted flight, so she can't glide very well. She does have to kind of beat her wings and work and she surprises us every now and then and takes a turn and tries to go into another room, which I think is funny because from what I understand, turning is really difficult for them when they have not built up the wing strength to do that. I would like to just say that not every bird is able to fly. Uh, it's probably just a strange misconception because you would think birds fly, why wouldn't they fly? Cookie has been a flighted bird for a long time and we were told when we got her she can fly. There are other birds who have been caged for so long that the muscles in their wings, <laughs> she tickled me, the muscles in their wings have um, completely deteriorated and atrophied and they're unable to rebuild those muscles because they're just so weak. That's my understanding anyway. But now Cookie, she got big old wing muscles. Oh yeah. Are you ready? Okay, we'll get started. So you can see that we started her flight training by incrementally moving further and further away from the perch. She starts with a short flight and lengthens those over time. You do have to monitor your bird, they will get visibly tired. You can see Cookie's body language sometimes shows that she doesn't have any interest in leaving my arm. I do give her a break, but I show her that there is a reward to be had and that's something that motivates her to continue flying for me. Incrementally, I just move her further and further away from the perch and you can just tell that she actually enjoys sort of leaping off of me, even though she needs a little bit of encouragement. You can also see that I give her the option to step onto me. I don't ever force the issue, I want this to be something that she enjoys and she always moves towards me and willingly steps onto my arm and receives a reward for that behavior. There have been times where Cookie has taken a wild turn 
and gone through the door into the kitchen. <laughs> I mean, crazy things like that are gonna happen. I personally have just tried to make sure that there was nothing in between the flight path that she would have the opportunity to just take a stop on. Right. She already wants to go again. Or she just wants more treats, one or the other. <laughs> Are you a good girl? The Sun Conyers, on the other hand, love to fly to me. <laughs> now, it might just seem like a natural thing that the Sun Conyers want to come over and hang out with me all the time, but there are times they don't want to come hang out with me, and it's usually because I'm going to get them to do something they don't want to do. Right. <laughs> So, I have my trusty snack here. And let's see if I can show you how the sun's fly to me. PJ. Good girl. Peach has always been very, very willing to come to me. She has been fighting to fly. We actually had her wings trimmed when she was a baby. And I guess they were too long and she flew anyway, even though she struggled. And then obviously we let both their wings grow out so they can fly all over the place. Good boy. He's so much more shy and hesitant. Why? He's my favorite. He's my favorite. Jealous? Um, the game I basically play with Peach is the boomerang ga game. I will walk further and further away from the place that she's flying to me from. And she'll keep flying to me. <laughs> and then I throw her and she, well, I throw her and she flies back down there. So we, I'll get her to do that right now. Ready? Peachy. Ready? Peachy. Good girl. <laughs> She's like, I'm done. Me. Me. Good boy. Me. Not you, PG. Me. Good boy. <laughs> They love it. They love it. They love it. Thank you for participating. And last but not least, our rescue of the week is Maya. She is a 15 year old African gray. You can follow her on Instagram at rocco.baby. You've done a great thing rescuing a bird and we just want to applaud you for doing that and giving Maya such a good home. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you like this video or if you had any suggestions, something that I can change or something that you'd like to see us do a video on for the next couple of weeks. I would like to do a vlog video coming up. So if you'd like to see a little bit more about me and my life in general with the birds and other animals we have and our kids and family and everything, leave a comment down below and just let me know. I'd love to hear it from you if that's something that you think you'd watch. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.